Hey, this is Ben Jones, and uh, we're going to be learning about Flower Manager today. Uh, it's a really cool uh, Flash-based augmented reality uh, application. So, uh, if you go to my website, ar.benjones.us, and then go to How to Make AR, and then go down here to Flash, uh, you get to this page. Um, when you look at it, though, there's probably going to be some videos down here. Uh, but I have a link to where you can download Flower Manager, um, and it brings you here. And you can download Flower Manager right here. It's got a GPL license, and you can use it for free um, as long as you're not like making any money off of it. Uh, you can use it for free. Um, you can get a commercial license, but that'll cost you some money. Um, with the GPL license, you have to provide your source code uh, to anyone who wants it. Uh, however, this doesn't mean that you have to hand over like your 3D models or your textures or your or your pattern files. Uh, it's just your Flash uh, source code. So you know, just click "I have read and agree" the license terms, and download Flower Manager. Um, the thing is, with the newest version of Flower Manager, it doesn't actually uh, compile with Flash CS4. It's not a bug with Flower Manager, it's actually a bug with, uh, with Flash CS4. Um, however, if you're using other programs, other IDEs, like uh, Eclipse or Flex, um, you won't have any problems uh, compiling. Um, so there are ways to get around this, but I, I just haven't quite figured it out yet. Uh, it involves using a dummy class and making some changes um, to Flower Manager. So um, what, I, what I've been using instead is actually an older version of Flower Manager. Um, eventually I'll, I'll get around to, to figuring it out. Uh, but you can download the older version here. I have it attached to the Flash section and I also have it in the source files section of my website so you can download it in either place and uh, once you download it you'll get a zip file let me just delete this uh, you'll get this zip file and if we right click and extract all and wait a second Okay, it's done. Um, we get this folder, Flower Manager. And inside of here, we have uh, a number of folders and a couple of files. We've got some uh, a projects file and um, a properties file. And inside here, we have settings for Eclipse. Um, these don't really matter that much at all. Uh, if you're just using Flash CS4. Um, you could actually delete these uh, three things right here if you wanted. I'll just delete them. Um, and then you have your HTML documents, which is all just documentation for Flower Manager. Um, don't really need that either, but it's, it's good to have, good to, to look at if you get stuck. Uh, then you have your libraries, and inside of here we have, you know, different uh, 3D libraries for Flash, uh, like Sandy and Way 3D, and of course Paper Vision 3D. Um, and then we have resources, and inside of resources we have assets and FLAR. And assets is where you put like your 3D files and their textures. So when, when you download uh, Flower Manager, you, you get these three files right here, uh, scout.dae, scout.txt, and uh, scout underscore flat.jpg. Uh, I added a couple of DAE files, a textures folder that has a few textures on it. Um, that's just a, a little project that I made for one of my friends. She was doing a presentation on augmented reality and so I whipped something together for her. 
Um, so that's included in there for you guys. You can mess with it. Uh, and so if we go back to the resources folder, uh, there's the FLAR folder as well. And inside the FLAR folder, we have a couple of uh, XML files and a .dat file and a patterns folder. Um, you won't really be doing any changes to this XML file, the FLAR config underscore loader .xml, but you will probably may be making changes to this one, uh, FLAR config .xml. Um, you probably won't be making any changes to this file. It's a uh, FLAR camera par uh, params .dat. That just uh, this file deals with the distortion of your webcam. Um, so that your computer can figure out where the tracker is in 3D space. It has to compensate for the dis distortion of the lens of your webcam. Uh, so then also we have this patterns folder. And inside of here we have a whole bunch of PNGs, a couple of flash files, and uh, a few PDFs. Um, in, in this version that you download, uh, it's, it's just using um, this PDF, which you might want to print out, uh, that's the tracker that I use. It's a, a tracker that I made. It's just a J. Uh, it stands for Jones, my last name. Uh, I also have it on my business card. Uh, so you, you don't actually need any of these files. You just need that PDF to print out. So I'm just going to delete these PNGs uh, just to make it simpler. So then inside uh, this pat eight folder we have a bunch of pat files and I have just j uh, dot pat which is the name of the uh, the pattern file 